Are you ready to dive into a world that couldn't be more disturbing and scary? At this very moment, as you watch our video, the most bizarre creatures are cavorting in the deep sea, for which the word freak was probably invented in the first place. But what unimaginable creatures really lurk far below the surface of the water? Well, the answer to that question is so disturbing that it might be better if you never knew. But we know you just can't resist the temptation. The Secrets of the Deep Sea To get you started, we have two quick insights for you. First, no other ocean region gapes as far into the deep as the mysterious Mariana Trench. And second, we have absolutely no idea what unknown creatures really lurk in the deep sea. Everything which we could bring so far over this extreme world into existence is not more than a tiny foretaste, which gapes only so before enormous knowledge gaps. One must imagine that only once, although it is certainly known that more than 70% of the Earth is covered with water, only 5% of the ocean floor should have been explored so far. What's more, even foreign celestial bodies such as Mars and the Moon are now mapped far more precisely than the ocean floor. One thing is certain, however, the deep sea is undoubtedly one of the most extreme terrestrial habitats. Starting at 200 meters below the surface, the sea gradually begins to turn into a pitch black place that becomes even more unforgiving with every meter you advance. Consequently, far from the sunlight, photosynthesis and thus plant growth is no longer possible. While water temperatures start to scratch the zero degree mark at depths of 6,000 meters, the pressure rises rapidly in the same breath. At a water depth of 1,000 meters, the corresponding value is already 100 bar, or about 100 kilograms per square centimeter. At a depth of 10,000 meters, the organisms that actually manage to defy the immense demands of this environment even weigh a ton per square centimeter. But how is this possible at all? What characteristics and traits did these bizarre inhabitants develop over time to adapt to the deep sea? Well, that the squadron of these sea creatures are incompatible to any other, we already realize when we take a look at a true monster of the deep. Black Anglerfish No, the following footage is not from a horror movie. Taken in 2014 in Monterey Bay, the clip shows us an amazing anglerfish of the genus Melanocetus. However, the researchers were not only lucky enough to capture this grotesque creature on film, but also be the first to catch it alive. After the 9cm black frogfish was tracked down and caught at a depth of 580 meters, the experts brought it to the research center of Monterey Bay Aquarium. There. The next step was to find out more about the deep sea's dweller's characteristics and way of life. Already, the way the fish uses its dorsal fins for locomotion left the scientists open-mouthed. None of them have ever seen anything like it before. Moreover, it appeared that the animal was breathing more than expected. It is well known that the predators use a lantern-like outgrowth on their heads to attract prey. In this regard, the experts now want to find out whether the blackfish use the radiant lure permanently or whether certain illumination patterns exist. Giant Squid A recent scientific study suggests that cephalopods are actually from outer space. If we now look at the incredible properties inherent in the giant squid, we cannot help but support the alien theory. Because like so many other squids, this representative is able to change the color of its skin at will and glow by itself. Since the giant squid is home at depths of up to 1,000 meters, its scientific study only really got rolling with the advent of deep-sea fishing. Equipped with 10 arms, the previous record holder reaches an incredible length of 18.3 meters, including the extremely stretchable tentacles. Since the eyes of the giant squid are among the largest in the entire animal kingdom, it is obvious that it relies on its razor-sharp vision when hunting. How exactly it snatches its prey, however, has not been completely clarified. However, the theory that it lies in wait for its victims is now considered outdated. The previous examinations of the stomach contents revealed that the giant squid feeds mainly on fish and other squid, including its own conspecifics. 
Dumbo Octopus The fact that the Dumbo Octopus was named after a well-known Disney elephant is no coincidence. The large fins of this cephalopod are indeed reminiscent of the oversized ears with which the pachyderm from the 1941 animated film takes off. If you want to marvel at one of the 14 species of this genus discovered so far with your own eyes, you have to go to the bone-chilling cold deep sea. While most Dumbo octopuses live in regions between 3,000 and 4,000 meters below the water surface, individual specimens have been found at depths of 7,000 meters. With an average body size of 20 to 30 centimeters, the octopuses feed mainly on mollusks, crustaceans, and worms. They do this by pouncing on their prey from above, swallowing it in one bite. Xenophyophores Is it just us, or don't xenophyophores kind of look like underwater brains? Between a few millimeters and 25 centimeters in size, we are dealing with giant unicellular organisms. The fact that the name of these creatures translates as carriers of foreign bodies is no coincidence. The known species actually form shells from the particles they collect from the ocean floor. However, scientists still have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to their exact way of life. But at least we know that xenophyophores sometimes occur in the deep sea, where they inhabit nutrient-rich elevations. Pseudoloparis swirey Before November 2017, anyone looking for an entry under Pseudoloparis swirey was looking down the tube because in fact the scientific description of this deep sea inhabitant dates back less than six years. At home in the remote Mariana Trench, one of these representatives of the disc belly family was filmed at a depth of 8,098 meters. Thus, the Pseudoloparis swirey advances to the deepest known fish species at all. With a size of 9.5 to 23.7 centimeters, the body shape of these creatures is more reminiscent of a tadpole than a conventional fish, which is, however, typical of the disc bellies. Currently, researchers believe that this fish species is found exclusively in the Mariana Trench. The specimens captured for the initial description all jumped at the flea crabs that were also attracted. What else is on the menu of the Pseudoloparis swirey remains to be discovered. Sunken City the discovery of Atlantis is imminent. However, it is not the mystical island kingdom that we know from Plato, but the English Yorkshire variant. Located on the east coast, the town of Ravenser Odd had over 400 households in the Middle Ages. Furthermore, historical records show that the settlement also had a harbor, a sea dike, a prison, and a marketplace. The small but not insignificant problem is now again the fact that there was no trace of the town for several centuries. After Ravenserod was founded on a sandbank on the north bank of the Humber River around the year 1235, parts of the coastline began to erode in the 14th century. What followed were numerous destroyed buildings and floods, and a settlement that gradually disappeared into the floodwaters. Eventually, what was left of the city was completely abandoned after a violent storm in 1362. Since the experts have already grazed a large part of the presumed search area, they now believe they are close to locating the lost medieval city. We can look forward to seeing it if and when Ravenserod will be rediscovered, and what archaeological treasures will come to light along with it. Garbage It's something to keep in mind. Although the deep sea is one of the least explored regions on Earth, we have already managed to pollute even this secluded area with our trash. Accordingly, a sad news item hit the headlines in 2018. Plastic bag found at the deepest point of the ocean. But that's not all. In the same breath, a study revealed that the Mariana Trench is even more polluted in places than some of the most polluted rivers in China. In this regard, Scientists assume that the pollution of the deep sea is due to decomposing plastic. And although it is well known that there is significantly more plastic waste floating around the world's oceans than a single bag, the latter has become a symbol of human indifference towards the environment. Eerie Sounds The sound of the deep sea is frightening. In an area east of Guam, near the Mariana Trench, 
ocean acoustic trackers picked up something that couldn't have been stranger. In detail, it was something that sounded like a metallic scream that could easily appear in this form in the next science fiction flick. The bottom line was that the phenomenon, which had a frequency of 38 to 8,000 hertz, was to be identified over 320 times. But what was the background of these peculiar sounds all about? Are we dealing with the telltale sounds of a secret underwater civilization? Well, not quite. If one follows the explanations of the experts, the so-called biotwang sounds were nothing else than the calls of the mink whales. As the smallest of the baleen whale species, mink whales are also known to make acoustic calls to attract attention during the winter, most likely to attract mating females. Thanks for watching our video all the way to the end. Feel free to leave us a thumbs up and a subscription to support us for free and stay up to date at the same time. And now it's time for your opinion. Which deep sea discovery fascinated you the most? And which creatures could still be found in the most remote regions of the oceans?